Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. We have one slot left for the quarterfinals and the chance to win $1,000. In our final qualifying match, it's the Panthers of North Yarmouth Academy. Taking on the Eagles of Wyndham High School. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show, Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. Seven teams have moved on to the quarterfinals. One of today's teams will take that final slot and perhaps go all the way to the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. Both of today's teams have been with us on previous seasons, but neither has made it to the championship round. North Yarmouth Academy of Yarmouth hopes the third time is the charm, but they need to get past Wyndham High School, who would love to have their second appearance lead to victory. Let's get things going by introducing the team members. For North Yarmouth Academy, we have Olivia, we have Genevieve, Hadley, and Ethan, with alternates Eva and Finn, and coached by Jennifer Michaelis. And for Wyndham, we have Al, Greta, Caitlin, and Francesca, with alternates Will and Owen, and coached by John Ziegler and Nicole Densmore. The competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and that fun lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, teams, NYIA, good luck. Wyndham, good luck. We are about to get going. Here is the first question. New York City is the most populous city in the U.S. What California city is number two? Al, Wyndham. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yes. In February 2021, Perseverance rover began collecting soil samples and taking photos of what terrestrial planet? Francesco, Wyndham. Mars. Mars is also right. Which senator from Wisconsin was the main force behind the hunt for communists he claimed were infiltrating the U.S. government in the 1950s? Greta, Wyndham. McCarthy. McCarthy, yes. As of November 2021, the Major League Baseball team that based in which Midwestern city is called the Guardians? Greta, you did beat it. Yes, go ahead. Cincinnati. Oh, that's incorrect. Uh, NYA, you want a chance at this one here? Take a guess. Go for it, Ethan. Kansas City. Nope, the answer is Cleveland, the Cleveland Guardians. Okay, up next we have a picture question, so look over here at the monitor. Located in Augusta, Georgia, this prestigious PGA tournament is the only one of the four majors to be played at the same venue every year. What is the name of this tournament? <phone rings> Olivia, NYA. The Masters. The Masters, yes. You guys are on the board now, too. Uh, Titania and Oberon are characters in which of the William Shakespeare's comedies? Genevieve, NYA. Midsummer Night's Dream. That's correct. What small, powerful master gland in the human brain secretes growth hormone and luteinizing hormone? <phone rings> Caitlin Wyndham. The pituitary gland. That's right. Empress Maria Theresa was a member of what royal family that ruled Austria, Hungary, and most of Central Europe in the 18th century? <phone rings> uh, Ethan, NYA. The Habsburgs. That's correct. A cultural and performing arts festival called The Fringe was founded in 1947 in what city that is the capital of Scotland? Greta Window. Edinburgh? Edinburgh, yes. Up next, we have a video question. Please take a look at the monitor again. Hello, my name is Carrie Letary, and I'm the librarian at York Middle School. What poet wrote the following lines? 
Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by. Francesca Wyndham. Robert Frost. Yes, you got it. Next question. What word that means salt producer refers to chloride, a chlorine, iodine, and the other elements in group 17 on the periodic table? Halogens is the correct answer. Next question. A German shepherd named Chase and a cockapoo named Sky are two of the main characters on what animated TV series for kids? Greta Wyndham. Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol, yeah. Did you watch it back no. in the day? <laughs> no? <laughs> An important event in U.S. labor history began in 1965 when workers who harvested what fruit in Delano, California, went on strike to demand better pay and improved working conditions. Greta, again. Oranges? Uh, that's incorrect. NYA, you have a chance here? Go for it, Genevieve. Lemons? Uh, also incorrect. Grapes. Oh. Grapes. Okay, in Greek mythology, Hypnos and his son Morpheus are most closely associated with which of these things? Music and dance, math and science, or sleep and dreams? Francesca. Sleep and dreams. That's correct. Math question. You got pencils, I think, over there. Get ready. What is the perimeter of a regular hexagon with a side measuring 16 inches? Ethan, NYA. 96 inches. You nailed it. You nailed it, Ethan. Next question. The Arlington Memorial Bridge connects the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. to Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia across what river? Greta. Window. The Potomac. Potomac is right. Wakanda Forever is a sequel to what 2018 feature film that stars Chadwick Boseman? Uh, Olivia, NYA. Black Panther. Yes, you got it. Next question. Which English king earned the ep epithet uh, Lionheart because of his reputation as a great military leader and warrior? Francesca Wyndham. Richard. I'm going to need more. Richard the First. You got it. You gave me more. You get the answer correct. What mythical creature that supposedly drinks the blood of animals gets its name from the Spanish for goat sucker? Greta Wyndham. Chupacabra? You got that, too. Nice one. What's the six-letter name for an Arctic climate region like Siberia or Alaska that's a natural habitat for Arctic fox and caribou? Francesca Wyndham. Tundra. Tundra is right. The Entertainer, Maple Leaf Rag, and Tree Monisha are the best-known works of what American ragtime composer? Go for it, Greta. Sousa. Uh, that's incorrect. NYA, you have a chance for some points if you get me the right answer here. Want to guess? <coughs> Joplin. Scott Joplin is the answer. Raising the temperature of a gas inside a sealed tube has what effect on the pressure inside the tube? The pressure goes up, it goes down, or it stays the same. <coughs> Al Wyndham. Increases. Goes it up. increases, yes, yeah. it goes up. The concept of the rhetorical triangle was outlined by what ancient Greek philosopher in his 4th century BCE treatise, Rhetoric? <coughs> Greta Wyndham. Uh, Plato? Incorrect. NYA? <coughs> Aristotle. Aristotle. Richard Avedon and Non Golden have won the Hasselblad Award for achievement in what visual art medium? Greta. Sculpture? Incorrect. NYA? Uh. Photography. Photography. More than 90% of people in Thailand practice what religion? Uh. Ethan, NYA. Buddhism. You got it. Another math question. Last one we have. An analog clock face shows the time is 4 o'clock. What is the measure of the angle formed between the hour hand and the minute hand? Uh, Greta Wyndham. 120 degrees. I am shocked that you got it because you guys don't really look at those analog clocks anymore, but you got it. Well done, Greta. Uh, next question. What Croatian-born engineer invented the first induction motor powered by alternating current? Greta again. Tesla? Tesla, yes. What hook-shaped diacritical mark is placed under the letter C to indicate a soft pronunciation as in the word facade? 
Genevieve, NYA. Uh, Sidi. Yep, we'll take it. Good job. Cirrhosis is a condition in which scar tissue replaces healthy tissue in which body organ? Greta Wyndham. The kidney? Incorrect. NYA. Uh. The liver. The liver. Okay, that's the end of the first round. We have a score of NYA 70, Wyndham 150. Great match is underway here. Don't go anywhere. We'll meet the players when we get back. We are back, but before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players a little better with a slightly silly question, which is, if you could have any animal as a pet, real or imaginary, what would it be? We'll start with NYA and Olivia. I would have to say a sloth. Sloth, why? I find them adorable. <laughs> and slow, right? Exactly. <laughs> They're never gonna run away from you. Yeah, easy, easy to, You'll easy catch to control, it. yeah. You will catch it. Uh, Genevieve, yourself? I, I don't know. I'd, uh, I'll just say uh, ancient silver dragon. Hmm. Ancient silver dragon. Is that from like a, a movie D &D. or a show? D and D. Dun uh, Dun Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Yep. Got it. Uh, Hadley, how about you? Um, Olivia actually took mine. I would come pick on. A sloth too. You had to have the same. <laughs> They're my favorite animal. A dragon? Sloth. Oh, sloth. I'm sorry. I thought we were still on the dragon. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you could share the sloth or something. I don't know. Um, Ethan, wrap it up for NYA. Capybara. Oh, because that was one of the questions we just had, right? Didn't we have just have that? Oh, that was a chupacabra? <laughs> All right. What was yours? A capybara. They live in South America. Okay. Thank you for educating me on that animal. <laughs> Is it cute at least? Yes. All right. Super cute. Let's go over to Wyndham. Al. Probably like a silverback gorilla. A silverback gorilla. That could get a little dangerous yeah, It's just there, really Al. intimidating. <laughs> it's, it's good yeah. to have around. And may kick your butt once or oh, twice. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, Greta, yourself? I'd get a goose, because every day would be different. With a goose? Yeah, you never know what they're going to do. Well, I, I, I feel like goose or geese, like, they're, they're very intimidating, and they can get, like, nasty, right? And I don't, but I, different. But different, yes. Yeah. I think you got to be careful with those. Keep goose. life interesting. Keep life interesting. Better than a sure. gorilla. <laughs> a little bit, yes. Slightly better than a gorilla. Uh, Caitlin. I want a parrot to ride around on my shoulder and just repeat everything I say. <laughs> you know how annoying that would get? I do not want that reality. <laughs> yeah, I don't either, actually. Uh, Francesca? Probably the first ever living organism like in the history of life. Okay. Because I think it would be interesting to study. Yeah, and, and what it evolved to next, exactly. right? Like how that all worked yeah, out. Yeah, how did we get to this or that? <laughs> really interesting stuff. Thanks, guys. Uh, the category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Paul Riley from Safety Insurance, and this is your main question of the week. Most of us know that Kittery is Maine's oldest town. But what is Maine's newest town? Is it Limestone, Elliott, or Shabig Island? We'll have the answer later in the show. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Look who's talking. Thanks for the help. It's an uphill climb. Dictionary detective. Deal of the decade. And growth industry. Questions have increasing point values and wrong answers will cost you. The rules for this round are different than in previous seasons though. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each cat question, they can choose to answer and either gain or lose points. They can skip and neither gain nor lose points. Or once per category, they can toss and force the other team to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer with their team and decide what to do. Okay, NYA, you are trailing right now, so you have control of the board. What will your first category be? Yeah, we'll do it's an uphill climb. Okay, it's an uphill climb. These are questions about places at high elevation. All right, here's the first question. The highest peak in Greece is what mountain that shares its name with the home of the gods in Greek mythology? <laughs> um, Olympus. Mount Olympus is correct. Second question, located at approximately 78 degrees south latitude, Mount Vinson is the highest peak on which continent? Australia. Aus um, that's Oceania, Australia. 
Uh, Australia? Um, Australia is incorrect. It's Antarctica. Antarctica. Um, we move on. It's an uphill climb for 20. Bolivia has two capital cities. One is Sucre. The other is what city that is approximately 11,975 feet above sea level? La Paz. La Paz. L-A-P-A-Z. La Paz. La Paz? La Paz is right. He knows it. <laughs> it's an uphill climb for 25. The mountain that overlooks Cape Town, South Africa, is most commonly known by what English name that refers to its distinctive flat top? Uh, so you'll need an answer, or, uh, or you can skip, or you can toss it. We're going to skip. You're going to skip it. Okay, the answer is Table Mountain. Table Mountain. So this is an uphill climb for 30. A holy site in Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. What historic ridge east of Jerusalem's old city is named for the trees that grew there in biblical times? We learned. <laughs> um, What's it called? Is it Joshua? No. Maybe. I'll need an answer, or again, you can skip or toss. We'll just skip it. You want to skip it? It's Mount of, uh, Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. All right, that's the end of that category. We're going to shift over to Wyndham. What will your first category be? We'll do Dictionary Detective. Okay, Dictionary Detective for 10. All the answers begin with the letter D. With the letter D. Oaks and maples are examples of what kind of trees that shed their foliage at the end of a growing season? Deciduous, final. Yes, you got it, final, yes. <laughs> uh, dictionary Detective 15. What adjective is applied to a particular type of red or golden apples or anything that tastes delightfully good? Delicious. Delicious, Delicious is right. Moving on to Dictionary Detective for 20. What adjective that means commanding is the opposite of recessive when you're talking about genetic traits? Dominant. Dominant is also right. Dictionary Detective for 25. A recent entry into some dictionaries, what compound word is defined as continually or repeatedly checking the internet for bad news? Doomsday something? Twitter, just skip. Skip. I thought we skipped. Uh, we should skip. Skip. Yeah. skip. Yeah, we're going to skip. You want to skip it? You're on the right track. I think I heard Greta saying doom something. It's doom scrolling. Doom scrolling. Uh, dictionary detective for 30, the last one. From the Greek for recording the people. What word is defined as a study of the characteristics of a population that a census that, like a census that keeps data on age and household income? Do you want to toss? What? Toss? Oh, no. I don't think I wouldn't risk this because I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, so I wouldn't risk tossing it. Want to skip? Skip. Skip. Okay, we'll skip. You skip? It's uh, demography. Demography. Okay, that wraps up that category. Now over to NYA again for your second category. And a reminder, you can toss once per category. What do you think? What do you think you guys want to go with? Sure. Just go with it. Uh, sure. Look who's talking. Uh, look who's talking. Look who's talking. Okay. Questions about voices in animation. Here's the first question. Since 2002, Frank Weckler has voiced what crime-solving canine who travels with his friends in the Mystery Machine? Scooby-Doo. 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 Yes, you got it. Scooby-Doo. Look who's talking for 15. What man, who was an actor before he became president of Ukraine, voiced the character of Paddington Bear in the Ukrainian releases of the Paddington movies? Zelensky. Zelensky. Zelensky is right. Look who's talking for 20. What star of The Good Place voiced Anna in Frozen and Lucy Stillman in the Assassin's Creed video game series? Kristen Bell. You got that one too. You're rolling. Look who's talking for 25. Debbie Derryberry. Provided the voice of what boy genius title character in an animated series from the early 2000s? Oh, that's uh, answer skip, skip, toss. You want to skip? It's Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Uh, the last one in Look Who's Talking Haley Joel Osment and David Gallagher voiced the characters of Sora and Riku respectively in what video game series? Answer, skip, toss. Skip. Skip, Kingdom Hearts is the answer. All right, we're back to Wyndham for your final category. What's it gonna be? All right, we'll do Deal of the Decade. Okay, Deal of the Decade for 10. I'll give you three events. You tell me the decade in which they happened. President Obama signs the Affordable Care Act, Russia annexes Crimea, Pokemon Go is released. The 2010s. 
2010s. 2010s is right. Deal of the decade, 15. The Suez Canal opens. Charles Dickens publishes Great Expectations. The Battle of Shiloh takes place. 18-something. 1860s? 1860s. You got it, 1860s. Deal of the decade for 20. Wings becomes the first movie to win a Best Picture Oscar. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is established. John Scopes goes on trial for teaching evolution in Tennessee. I feel like that's a 50s. 1950s. 1950s. Okay, 1950s. Incorrect, 1920s is the right answer. Deal of the decade for 25. Earth Day is celebrated for the first time. Billie Jean King defeats Bobby Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes tennis match. The Watergate break-ins occur. Watergate break-ins? Break so, pass 25, 70. 25. If you're not sure, just pass it. I mean, Scandal was 70, 74. Just so pass it. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, Answer, skip, or toss? We're going to pass. So you want to pass it over no, to we'll them? No, we'll no, skip, no, 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 skip. You want to skip it? Yes. Skip. Okay. The answer is the 1970s, 1970s. Deal of the decade for 30 to wrap up the category. The Dominion of New England is created. Isaac Newton publishes Principia. England's King James II is overthrown in the Glorious Revolution. Uh, no, 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 I on. think this is the... It's King James. No. Do you want to toss it? Yeah, we should probably toss it. Toss it. Yeah, we're going to toss it to the other team. We're going to toss? Okay, so this forces you to answer the question, um, and I'll read it again to you. The Dominion of New England is created. Isaac Newton publishes the Principia, and England's King James II is overthrown in the Glorious Revolution. 1680s. 1680s. You nailed it. 1680s. Well done. All right. That's going to end the category round. Our score is NYA 160, Wyndham 200. We got a great battle here, and everything can change in the lightning round. So sit tight. We'll be right back. How did you do with this week's question? It was, most of us know that Kittery is Maine's oldest town, but what is Maine's newest town? Is it Limestone, Elliott, or Shabeeg Island? The answer is Shabeeg Island. Until 2007, it was part of Cumberland, but disputes over the school system led to its residents deciding to apply to the state to become their own town. This is a great match, and we're now heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in any time, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20, and the other team does not get the chance to answer. The clock is set. Good luck to both teams. Here we go. A fireman named Guy Montag is the main character in what novel by Ray Bradbury? Genevieve. Fahrenheit 451. That's correct. Of the three main types of rock, which one forms from cooled mag... Greta Wyndham. Igneous. Igneous is correct. In social media, TIL stands for Today I What? Caitlin. Learned. Learned is correct. What lion-headed Egyptian war goddess has a name that means she who is powerful? Sekhmet. What author created the Goosebumps series of scary books for... Greta Wyndham. R.L. Stein. Yes. An old proverb says that which month comes in like a lion and goes out like a Greta Wyndham. March. March. March is right. In astronomy, Ursa Major means the great what? Genevieve, NYA. Bear. Bear is correct. In what year did South Carolina secede from the Union? Uh, Greta. 1863. 1863 is incorrect. It's 1860. In 2019, Gretchen Whitmer took office as governor of which Midwestern state? Michigan. Brass and bronze are alloys of what metal with the chemical symbol CU? Greta. Copper. Copper is correct. What English philosopher wrote the 1859 treatise on liberty? John Stuart Mill. The NFL's Man of the Year award is named for what Chicago Bears running back? Oh, that's the end of the lightning round, and we had a great game, but Wyndham pulled it out with 280 points, and they will be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Runner-up NYA with 200 points, so close. I hope we see you again next year for another try at the championship. Thank you guys for playing. Congratulations to both teams. Be sure to tune in next time for the first quarterfinal match. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine.
Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.